the shotgun rider Cruise through the country, maybe pulling all night Every little body needs a glide decider Come on, baby, be my shotgun rider Welcome to this week's edition of Skip Scoop. Uh, a lot goes into a program, and, and there are a lot of things that go on behind the scenes, and one of those things are the contributions of our managers, but I thought it would be very helpful for you, the fans of Indiana baseball, to see that it's not easy to be a manager of, at, at Indiana University. There's a lot that goes into it, and what we're going to do is give you a little inside look at what it takes to be a manager at IU. Max Thomas, redshirt sophomore, BP right-handed specialist, Indianapolis, Indiana. Ben Wiley, Lafayette, Indiana, junior, video coordinator. Tyler Paul, slider specialist, from Newcastle, Indiana. Pat Manher, junior, bookkeeping specialist, D. Displains, Illinois. Aaron Cohn, Jr., Indianapolis, Hoseman. Alex Rich, Jr., Utility Man, St. Louis, Missouri. Yeah, we're getting ready for practice here, and, and, and it's, it's practice, even for the managers. they got to be in shape. Kyle, it's a thing of beauty when you've got your older guys to start teaching the younger guys how to do things. Check it out. Tyler, you're going to wear your shoulder out putting it at that angle there, buddy. you got to make sure you get that hand at a proper angle when dropping it in there. You got it? Hold on, hold on. Aaron, I just got done telling Tyler the same thing. You've got your arm here. It needs to be here. You got it? Got it. All right, make it better. Let's go. We'll do. Alex, need the ball. You know, going over some of this stuff, fellas, I, I, I think we got a problem um, with Max. I, I just his his charting is is, is not right. His his hand and you can tell that he's clearly he's not on board. And Ben, I, I do think Ben's ahead of him a little bit in that. Um, you know, I, what what do you guys think on that? So so you know, we got to rank these guys and get them get them straight. You know, Ben's good. Uh, you know, I think he's really good with the camera stuff. I think he's really good. But, but, but the, we're not talking about the camera stuff. I, I don't care what he does with the camera. we got to have guys that can chart. Yeah, he needs some work. Well, well Aaron, not, needs some not to interrupt, but Aaron, um, excellent charting skills, but I asked him specifically to use pencil. And it's See, been all, all pen, so he obviously can't follow well, that, directions. And that is a problem. And that is a problem because if he can't, if he can't decide what to use between pen and when you're clearly telling him that, we can't use him. I've had Aaron. Aaron has a tough time following directions, definitely, with everything. Yeah. Especially the charts. Tyler, he, I think he's battling a little, uh, I don't know if it's carpal tunnel. Yeah, he, need, he needs to get in and see Joel before practice because his... Uh, Carpal tunnel is flaring up again. Again? Yeah, same as last year. He's got to, he needs to get some rehab in. All right, we'll make sure he gets in there. Yeah. Max, we've shown some footage on the managers and the things you guys do, but game day, what's it like? What's it mean to be an IU manager? 
Well, you know, we wake up early in the morning. Don't really have a lot of social life on Friday and Saturday. But, you know, you got to deal with adversity like that. We feel like we're the 26th guy on this team that dresses. Everybody thinks that they're Spielberg. With the camera. But that's not true. You know, you have to get the right angle, the right time, and make sure you get the whole shot in. It's a lot more than just pushing a button. That's what I like to think about it. You know? As you can see, it's, uh, it's not easy to be a manager with Indiana baseball, and those guys do a heck of a job for us, but they've earned it. Uh, hey, no questions of the week this week. I'm a little disappointed, Kyle, on what's going on out there, but we did get some, uh, some, some good pictures of the week. First one here, this one's uh, Ed Halstead, uh, father of Ryan Halstead, a sophomore pitcher in our program here with Howie Kendrick, and uh, you know, looking good there, sporting IU gear. Uh, second one here, Coach Neal. Look at the back. I got a little. Uh, I got a little, little pre-practice haircut for him there. Put his number 32 in there. I messed up on the two, but uh, he's doing a good job there, sporting it. You know what? We took some flack last year from Purdue fans on a couple of episodes. They got to understand. We're just having fun here, aren't we, Kyle? Just having fun. Yep. This Friendly was, rivalry. Yeah. This was submitted. Looks like by uh, Rock and Todd and his son uh, Dylan. Right, and his son Dylan goes to Purdue, but it looks like he's in the uh, belly of the beast, as Todd said. He's in the belly of the beast sporting his, his IU gear. And then I love this one because, again, it would not be a skip scoop without a weekly submission from Ross Dickerson. I'll just read it to your eye here. The Donatos uh, taking IU gear into fan-friendly Petco Park, please. This is Ross. He's going right into to Oakland Coliseum here, and you can tell uh, those are some of the wackiest fans ever, but IU baseball making its presence known all over the United States. And again, uh, keep. I want questions next week, so we better make sure we have questions. But thanks for viewing. We'll see you next week on Skip Scoop. Tyler, he, I think he's battling a little, uh, I don't know if it's carpal tunnel or... <laughs> <laughs> Who, how's Ty doing? What, what's, what, do, what do you think about him? <laughs> I'm trying. Uh, very good penmanship. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Uh, he's been actually very good, but. <laughs> How's, uh, how's Tyler doing? Uh, he pulled me. <laughs> <laughs>